Welcome back to the nostalgic future. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at M64 Plus FZ on the Z Flip 3. And honestly, it looks and runs so well that I could just sit here and stare at this intro all day. But in this video, we're just going to see what the experience is like. And I'll show you how to set up the visual settings, how to get the appropriate 4x3 aspect, and how to upscale it just the right amount in my opinion. But you can always just take these settings and run with them. So first of all, I like rendered resolution on 640x480, but if you really want to go crazy, I mean you can set it to 5760 for some reason. But in this kind of screen real estate, I think 640x480 is great. And you want to set the screen orientation to portrait, screen scaling original. I'm going to have the frame rate on. Enable Glide 64 threaded and hybrid filters if they are not selected. Then take a step back, go to shaders, and I like shader scale factor on 2x. That's where I think I get the most bang for my horsepower, if you will. Now let's take a look at Super Smash Bros. 64. The image is just so clean and crisp. It's it's literally fantastic. I can't I can't really describe the way that this screen looks in person. It's completely different from my last phone was an S20 Ultra. This makes its screen look like it was an iPhone 7. I tried to get it across camera better this time around. But as much better as this video looks from my last is how much better it looks in real life. Also, I'm loving that frame rate is staying at 60. And really, it's, it's Nintendo 64. We ought to be able to set just about any settings we want and never dip under that. And it's, it's a really crazy experience using that 8-bit retro bit N64 Bluetooth controller with this. It's awesome just to sit it on a table and prop it up and just the experience is there. If you play a lot of N64 or emulate it I should say, I really I really recommend this controller. The battery life isn't that great. It might just be because I let mine sit around for a few months in between charges sometimes, but it's really nice to have. Oh! Well, now that I've died, let's go ahead and check out Mario 64. Mario 64 also looks fantastic. And you'll notice, N64 actually uses a lot of different frame rates, so this one stays locked at 30. And really with this emulator, I don't I don't think I've had a single problem with it on any device before. No random crashes, no fails to save, no save states disappearing. This is one of the most solid emulators. And that picture is just crystal clear. And just another one of the reasons why I enjoy this so much is I'm the kind of person that always keeps portable emulators around also. And I'm always cycling between random new models that come out. But this phone has really changed my mind. I, I, I really don't feel like I need one of those anymore. Not only that, but this does so much more. And in the right mindset, it can fill the void of of that portable emulator if you're the kind of person that uses those. And once you get it set up the way you like it, it's the best. So I think I'm just gonna play some more. As always, I appreciate all of you, especially for sticking around this long. And next time we're gonna be taking a look at Dolphin, the Wii and GameCube emulator. And we're gonna be running GameCube and also Wii. So I hope to see you next time on The Nostalgic Future.